Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we're heading down to the farm to drink some bourbon from the farm. Tonight, we're doing a little taste test on this son of a bitch. <sighs> Calumet Farms, 15-year Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This bottle is adorable, and by adorable, I mean badass. Look at it. It's got jockeys and old people and horses and words that are just embossed and beautiful and boss. So good. It's a product of Kentucky and it better not sucky. Otherwise I get mad. America. This Calumet Farms is a 15 year old single rack black. Whatever that means. It's a batch of 19 barrels, proofed at 105, 52.5% alcohol by volume. It's a triple crown winner, whirl away. Rack number 275401.09, which we all know is a huge rack. Non-chill filtered for added depth of character and color. I think whirl away is the name of the horse. Jockey, Eddie, Arcaro, tiny little man. If you spin the bottle around, you'll notice a label with a little tiny words. So I'm gonna go, go gadget eyes my face so I can read this small type on this bottle. Go, go gadget eyes. Amazing. What the heck? That smells good. It smells like a Belgian, a Belgian waffle. A Belgian waffle. You ever get Belgian waffles? Even the store-bought ones that come pre-cooked in a plastic wrapper? Yes. It smells like a Belgian waffle that, that got cooked inside of an oak barrel for like 15 years. In 1941, Whirlaway was ready to shock the world with his amazing speed. Whirlaway had a tendency to bolt toward the outside rail. Trainer Ben Jones spent many sessions trying to break the habit with no luck. The more he tried to tame the wild world away, the more ornery and bold he became. As a last resort, the day before the Kentucky Derby, Ben Jones cuts one of world away's blinkers away. It works! World away, ridden by Eddie Arcaro, not only gives Calumet Farm its first Kentucky Derby victory, but he does it with an eight length victory in a record time of two minutes, one second. Two out of five, two slash five, two fifths. Probably should know more about what I'm reading. Whirlaway subsequently gives Calumet its first triple crown after dominating the Preakness and the Belmont races as well. He later added to, well, Oh, oh, I'm running out of breath, but I, oh, I, I got stamina. It's just a good song. He later added a win at the Tra... He later added a win at the Traverse Stakes, or Traverse Stakes, depending. I'm just not smart. To complete the Grand Slam of Thoroughbred Racing. To date, he is still the only horse in history to ever accomplish this feat. Whirlaway also captures the honor title of 1941 Horse of the Year. To honor the legacy of Calumet Farm and its finest Triple Crown winning horse, this exquisite bourbon has been crafted with the same passion and dedication that led Whirlaway to victory. www.calumetbourbon.com Well, that story got me tired. What a horse friggin' Whirlaway. I believe Whirlaway would be happy to know that this Calumet Farm 15 year is going to be tasted by what some consider to be the thoroughbred of whiskey tasting. Did I win a triple crown? No. But I've worn three crowns at Burger King before. They, they crowned me triple king because I ate all their food for three days in a row. Beat that world away. I put the weakness and preakness, that's what my wife says, in bed. That'll get edited out. 
The nose on this is definite Belgian waffle, definite cherry, definite oak. There is some coffee cake here, definite crumble cake, crumbled coffee cake. Actually might, this actually might be more of a raspberry rather than a cherry. The oak and the red fruit gives, a, gives it a little bit of a sting, a little bit of a buzz, a little bit of a higher pitched red fruit smell. The little bit of astringency coming through on the oak and the alcohol is turning the cherry into a bit of a more bitter raspberry. Dare I say bordering on thimbleberry. Hmm. I'm not a doctor, but if you mixed breakfast with thimbleberry and oak, it's what this smells like. Although there's a lot of age on this whiskey, it has a little bit of a brighter nose to it than I would expect. I was expecting maybe darker fruits, darker fruits and maybe like a little bit more leathery or a little bit more tobacco-y, just some, some old notes coming through here, but it's actually pretty bright. Stop thinking about it, Matt, just taste it. Let's find out if it's any good. That's okay, that's what matters. Is it any good? Wow. Yeah, that's good. It's definite red fruits, definite breakfast foods, definite pancakes and waffles and oak and red fruit. Just kind of mashed together in there. Little bit of nuttiness there. Little bit of nuttiness. A great proof point. It's a great sipper. Definitely not overwhelming. Definitely packed full of flavor. Definitely like that. It's semi-oily. It's oily enough. The oak is definitely there. The red fruit definitely there. Definite caramelized sugars. Definite fried dough. At $120, it's definitely 100% a try before you buy. Make sure that it's up your alley if you're planning on spending that kind of cash on a whiskey. It's definitely good. It's definitely something I enjoy. My palate gives it two thumbs up. Super good. I'm running out of breath, but I, oh, I, I got stamina. Freaking love it. I'm not your spouse, so I can't tell you whether or not this is worth $120. But if I were your spouse, I would tell you to do the dishes and to clean up after yourself and to buy me a new pair of shoes. There's a little bit of tobacco. Third sip there. A little bit of tobacco coming through. Nice. I like that. Freaking like it a lot. Like it a lot. I like you a lot. I wonder if Whirl Away could get away with strapping my fat ass on its back. If it could walk four steps with me strapped to its back, I would give it another award. An award for bravery. That about does it for this Calumet Farm 15 year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey tasting. If you liked this video, Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below. Have you tried the 15 year? And do you like it? And if you haven't had this yet, is it something you're looking forward to? Because last year's 14 year Calumet Farms was met with, you know, mixed reviews. Some people loved it, some people didn't. But at the same time, who knows? New year, new, new year, new me, right? Kelly Matt Farm, 15 year old. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on winning, and winning, and winning, and winning, and never stop winning, even though you have faults, and, you, and your jockey doesn't like everything you do. You're a little bit wild and rambunctious, and they can't quite control you, but you don't care. All you want to do is win, 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 no matter what. All I want to do is win, 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 no matter what. So what you do is you go all horse balls out and you go sprinting as fast as you possibly can towards the finish line in circles around a track. And you don't stop and you won't stop until you're wearing all the gold and all the trophies and all the jackets and everybody loves you and everybody chants your name. Whirl away, whirl away, mad, 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 mad. Me and whirl away, we get along really well because we know a thing or two about winning and probably dying young.